Okay, everybody, congratulations for finishing the tutorial. It was a great experience for myself trying to create a stylized look. And this is the final result. And I hope that you have learned a thing or two, just like myself. So it was a great journey. We started with references and it started the blackout. So in order to keep that documented, from every stage i took one screenshot first we started with this empty scene and then gradually started to bring in the blackout pieces and we made sure that then the uvs are gonna work fine refine the uvs and then we created a plaster material and you see it looks very awful because the pieces that we started with are mainly flat and now nothing interesting to look at Okay, then we started to add a bit of interest into the material by vertex blending or adding the functionality to vertex blend and adding a bit of overall dirt to make the buildings really belong to the environment. And then we went ahead, created the tiling stone and we just kept these for a later usage or it was reversed when we created the stone material we just saved the individual stones so that we could later on create tiling pieces with them and then we just textured the stones as well brought them here found out that they are too colored so we changed and then brought in these pieces we sculpted in zbrush and textured in painter and these are just kits to only add a bit of silhouette breakup to these buildings okay and then try to add different variations with just a single kit and created another kit as well and just started to finish the scene in this way we started to add vertex blend and changed some things uh, in the scene and found out that if we just convert this into a white plaster we're going to get a better result okay and then we made a tiling roof piece with shingles and then went ahead and started to add more and more kits in the scene to complete that then after creating the constructions we went for barrels the most generic pieces and then just started to scatter these around added a bit of vertex blending with the functionality that we added before and then just started to create a bit of depth in the scene to or by placing this building outside of the main composition that we have to tell the story that this street is continuous okay and then we started to complete the buildings because we are seeing the sky in here we just brought in some meshes to cover that and then we created the fruit kit started to place them around created some variations and then we brought in these fabric meshes that we simulated in blender just colored them and the next step was creating foliage and scattering them around and then scattering more foliages and after that the post process and lighting and this is the journey we completed to create this scene and i really enjoyed the process we went from this to this in a short amount of time because we were able to utilize the power of kits and instead of creating special meshes for each side we created kits combined them together rescale rotate and all kinds of things to add variation and now finally this is the engine look so this is just like a gameplay you can just play in the level of course because we were limited on time we created a composition camera and just try to place these based on that composition camera of course you have more time you can go and try to create a whole city with these this is the one that we had time to create then the creation process was actually being able to reuse as much possible as content that we have so that we are not 
just forced to create everything from scratch. Okay, and this is the final result. And only by lighting and post-processing, we were able to go from something like this, which we started in the lighting chapter, all the way to this. A very stylized, hand-painted look. And because we were limited on time, we just reused the stuff as much as possible. But since you have time, you can go and try to create more stuff and fill the environment with. But since we were limited a bit on time, we used kits. And that was a good practice, trying to save time as much as possible. So one more thing is that we can add a bit of flower to add variation to this scene. So I just created an instance from the foliage color and change the hue a bit very simple color nothing too complicated and let's go in here in foliage mode and we have these as well as these meshes that i just duplicated these and applied the color to so that's just nothing too complex i just took these meshes right click and duplicate to duplicate and apply that material to these okay i'm just taking everything And we do not want to have a lot of density. So let's bring the density down too much. Just to add a bit of variation to here. So now this is what we get by adding a bit of flower. And of course we can go on foliage mode and try to erase some of the results. So let's activate and I'm just removing some of those flowers. And just repainting to get the results that we want. So let's disable. I'm bringing okay, a bit of grass as well and we can call it done. So, this is the end of the course. I hope you have learned some things from it. And thanks for watching. And goodbye. And God bless you.